Im is a small village in the county of Derbyshire in England and is best known for the outbreak of the plague that occurred there during the Black Death in London. The village is known as the Plague Village as it was the only place in England outside of London to be heavily hit by the plague. It is thought that 263 of the 350 villagers died of the plague. The village became famous for its decision to isolate itself when the plague was discovered there in August 1665 in an attempt to stop the infection from spreading. The terror started when a bale of cloth was delivered from London which was slightly damp and it was delivered to one George Vickers who decided to dry the bale in front of the fire. The heat from the fire invigorated some fleas that were living in the cloth and George became the first victim. The villagers continued to refuse to leave the village until the plague had run its course. This historic event is commemorated by a yearly Plague Sunday service in Eam. Today you will find plague cottages where people who lived and died during that period. Here one of the plague cottages lists the former occupants. Mary Hadfield, formerly Cooper, lived there with her two sons Edward and Jonathan and her new husband Alexander Hadfield and an employed hand George Vickers. George Vickers, the first plague victim, died on the 7th of September 1665. Edward Cooper, aged four, died on the 22nd of September 1665. Jonathan Cooper, aged 12, died on the 2nd of October 1665 and Alexander Hadfield died on the 3rd of August 1666. Mary alone survived but lost 23 relatives. By August 1665, two-thirds of Eames population had died from the plague. Vicar William Mompesson's wife Catherine, who refused to leave his side, became a plague victim. The couple sent their children to safety well before the decision that all should quarantine. The graveyard became so full that the dead were buried in gardens and fields. Eam Parish Church records the names of 273 villagers who died during the 14 months of terror. Survival appeared random as many of those who survived had close contact with those who perished. In London it was rumoured that dogs and cats spread the plague so the Lord Mayor of London ordered them destroyed. An estimated 200,000 feline rat killers were culled which lowered the numbers of their natural enemies. There are no reports that Eam cats suffered the same fate. It is claimed that a nursery rhyme commemorates the plague. It appears on the gates of the local school. Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Some people claim that the nursery rhyme ring a ring of roses is about the plague. The roses are the red blotches on the skin, the posies are the sweet smelling flowers that people carried to ward off the plague, and a tissue refers to the sneezing fits of people with pneumonic plague. We all fall down refers to people dying. Others believe it's just a nonsense rhyme. It is perhaps interesting to note that church services continued during the plague in Eam. They continued outside, with families standing well apart so that they didn't spread the contagion. In the latter part of 2020, when I'm making this recording, I can only say that it sounds all too familiar. This is John Rhodes with CRH News. <laughs>